Long head don't care. Probably the most exciting match of the tournament so far. Layla Fernandez gets the job done against Beatrice. Now you know why I always say Layla's the most athletic player on tour next to Coco Golf and Clara Buell. Those ladies are freaking amazing. Listen, you do not want to see Layla Fernandez in your draw at the U.S. Open. Trust me, she's found her swag. She's hit her stride. She is balling. Did you see the video I did? The, check the last video with Beatrice versus Layla. Beatrice had her tongue sticking out of her mouth, exhausted, chasing Layla around the court. Unbelievable. But we pick up here Danny Mal, two-time NCAA champion, taking on the Greek goddess. Now, listen, guys, I feel for Maria Sacri. And mentally, I really feel for her. You watch Breakpoint, how she talked about retiring after tough losses. How do you not want to retire after that tough loss against Coco? Someone you're nearly 10 years older than, nearly 10 years older than, much stronger than, but we saw the changing of the tide. And if you watch Breakpoint, Zachary said she's no spring chicken anymore. She's part of the older generation on tour, and there's a newer generation, and Coco's a part of that newer, younger generation. Coco's 19, and she literally showed Zachary she's a lot stronger than her, much more athletic than her, has a better serve than her, better forehand, better net play. Coco's really good. If you ask me, I don't think Zachary's going to do well in this tournament here. I don't think she wanted to be here. And nonetheless, taking on Danielle Collins, she comes out flat in the first set. Now, listen, Danielle's got to get the car started again. She's got to get going. This is the American part of the tour. Danielle's got to get some points or she's going to be trying to qualify for the Australian Open. She's got to get some points. We know the cutoff point to qualify for the Australian Open is mid-October. Danielle's got to get some points here so she can relax in October, November, and get ready for the upcoming season. We know now people, the, the professional athletes are flying to Australia in November, preparing two months out because of the long travel. It's the longest tournament to travel to. And just the conditions there, they're so hot and humid. The hot summer in Australia, it's brutal for players. So they're getting there early and preparing for the first Grand Slam of the year. But back to Canada, ladies and gentlemen. Zachary, I feel for her. Mentally, how do you get up after losing a WTA 500 and play your first round match against someone like Danielle Collins, who's got an amazing backhand? Classic story of amazing backhand, amazing forehand. On clay, I like the forehand because you have to stop, get planted with the backhand. On hard, you can find your backhand in stride, and it's not coming back. And Danielle Collins takes the first set. Zachary does break to start the second set, but I'm concerned for Zachary, guys. She's not converting on break points. She's making double faults. Zachary used to overpower opponents with her strength and her serve, but she used to make a lot of double faults, like Sabalenka, who hired a mechanics coach. Zachary improved the double faults, but now she's not getting the aces, and that's the problem I think she has. She can't close out service games. And she can't close out matches because the serve is not there. She's literally playing long rally shots with younger, faster, more athletic players. And look, Sacri used to be huge. She's not that tall, by the way, but she used to be huge and very powerful. She lost a lot of that muscle and weight. So now she can't overpower opponents like she used to. And I think it really frustrates her. That's just my personal opinion. And I don't think she's going to win this match. How do you come from D.C. to play this tournament? It's tough mentally, guys. It's really tough. And I feel for Zachary, guys. Out of the last 26 semifinals slash final appearances, seven of them have been final appearances. She's walked away with zero hardware. Whew. Danielle on the move here in the second set. Tennis in a minute. We'll be back.